Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Oceanus Two Light Interior Wall Sconce. This is the 2076.95. It's also a single version of this, and there is a three light version of this. Check them all out. See which one is right for you. Let's get into the height of the fixture itself. Four point six inches, I guess it's if you're using it horizontally, by 23 inches long. The projection on this is only 3.8 inches, and that's going to be the distance from the wall coming out. Qualifies this to be ADA compliant. That's Americans with Disabilities Act that says a sconce can only come out from the wall up to four inches. So if you are a designer or an architect and you're using this or want to use it in an application, maybe like a doctor's office or a hotel or a restaurant, you should be able to do that with no problem. And if you're a homeowner, it's a great sconce to use in hallways and bathrooms as well as stairways because it throws a ton of light. It's going to be very flush to the wall. A lot of people like that. Let's get into a couple other things. Let's get into the mounting height on it. And that's going to be, again, if you're going to be using this horizontally, 2.3 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your junction box like this. And the back plate on it is 4.6 by 19.1. I want to show you more, more information about that. How we're going to do it is we're going to look at the installation's instructions now. So if you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over that side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installations, instructions, PDF. So open that up for me. It's going to show you a full parts list. It's going to show you how to put the glass on. But it's going to show you some very good line drawings and schematic drawings of the back of this fixture and how it goes over your four-inch junction box. So take advantage of that if you can. So this is aluminum. It's only 5.4 pounds. And because it's aluminum, Hubbardton Forge is going to be limiting some of the finishes you can get as standard product. And you pull that menu down. It says choose your finish and you're going to see what's available. We do custom finishes. So if you're doing this with other fixtures that are um, made out of steel, those are generally going to be offered in other and more finishes than what you see on that pull down menu. So let's say you want bronze or dark smoke. We do custom versions of this fixture in those finishes. It's actually going to be coastal dark smoke or coastal bronze because those things generally go on outdoor fixtures and <clears throat> those things are aluminum too, the outdoor fixtures. So just drop a quick email. Say you're looking at the 2076.95 and you're looking for it to be in bronze and then I can give you all the details about that. Adds a little time and cost, but we do it every day. Okay, moving on, I'll talk about what's going on inside of this as far as lamping goes. It's going to be using a G9 socket, two of them, two of them, like that. And G9 sockets take G9 bulbs. You can still use halogen bulbs if you want to. There's no reason not to. But you're going to be limited to 240 watt because of the heat that these little guys generate. So just keep that in mind. If you want to go LED, your only caveat and your only limit is going to be how big the bulb is to get into the glass itself. And it's going to be the length of the bulb we're talking about. So there are different LEDs that are out in the marketplace. And there's even much larger ones than this. When I say larger, I'm talking about longer. And there's a 100 watt equivalent one, which I don't think would fit in this because um, it's, it's very long. But these guys are 60 and 75 watt equivalents, and they generally sh should uh, work great. And there's different types of them. This is a phosphorus one. This is a cob one. You can barely see it because there's a bit of a, a haze on the, um, the diffuser, so you don't see it. But um, as far as the light coming out of these, they're going to be offering these to you in lots of different ways. So we, we measure the color of light coming out of uh, bulbs by Kelvin, Kelvin temperature. 2700 Kelvin, super yellow. That's going to be like the setting sun. Remember, this is a sconce. People are, a lot of people are going to use in bathrooms, and that means that they're going to be throwing a light on you. You're going to be looking at the mirror. You don't want to look jaundiced, so you probably don't want to do the 2700 Kelvin, my recommendation anyway. But if you're using this in a different place, maybe you're using this flanking a fireplace and, or maybe a stairway or someplace like that, and maybe then that is a good place to do the 2700 Kelvin. However, let's kind of move on from there and talk about other options. So they're going to offer these bulbs to you in also uh, something called daylight. And daylight sounds like it should be a warm light, like sunlight, but it's not. That's that bluish white light, like a hospital waiting room or an overcast day. That is 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin on that Kelvin scale. You'll see it listed on the box, or if you're on Amazon or some website, you'll see it listed there too. What we like to use in our showroom is the light that mimics an incandescent bulb. It has that nice warm glow. The glow you see on this table right here, this is 3,000 Kelvin, warm white, soft white. And those are the LEDs that, um, that we use. And we got all these on Amazon. It was just the easier way to go. I can find them at Home Depot or Lowe's or True Value or Ace or those kind of places too. But it's just so much easier when I'm in the middle of Vermont to be able just to hop 
on Amazon and pick these up and try try out different ones too. They're not that expensive, so don't be afraid to try out different ones. You, you might want to try out a 60 or 75 watt equivalent. And remember, you have two sockets here to play with, so that would be a good way to go. It's also a dimmable fixture, so if you want to go in that direction, just remember to buy a dimmable bulb. I want to touch base on Hubberton Forge's opal glass for just a second. So all of Hubberton Forge's glass to begin with is going to be hand blown. This piece is hand blown first and clear, then they're going to come in and they're going to blow another layer of white glass on the inside of this. The third step is they're going to take and they're going to sandblast the whole thing on the inside and the outside. That's going to give you this beautiful, mellow, translucent, milky piece of glass. When you look at this and you can see the layers are actually piled up on the inside of this. Hubbardson Forge is very obsessed about details on all of their pieces, including their glass, and that's why you're here, because you're probably just as obsessed about little details as well. Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubbardson Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubbardson Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubbardson Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubberton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces, and they're all the same size, and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.